So hey guys, um, I wanted to show you a closer view of the uh, RC4 wheel drive Jalande 2 based, I guess, uh, mud racer. Uh, when I had it through a little coat of paint on top of it, it's, I didn't sand it down or anything. So those little spots that you see, that's from the resin printers, that's where the supports were. So I didn't clean it too much because this body, um, you can see where I made it together because I had to make multiple prints and then glue them together with the resin uh, because the printer is not big enough to make a body this size uh, this thing is huge and it's really not even the full thing it's missing a piece of the the wing in the back where it's got kind of like an angle here uh, but that'll come with the actual vehicle once I put it on Shapeways uh, there's a few little details that I want to iron out um, this one right here uh, when it printed it was missing a part that didn't print too well so it was actually it's about two millimeters too short the front so when I glued it together I came up with the issue here where it's too close and when I get the when I get it to actually you know compress the, the shocks it's actually touching so that was completely my bad um, the printer just shortened the hood part so that's not going to be an issue with the print itself but uh, I may give it a slightly more um, angled front just in case um, you know just to give you a little bit more clearance thing is I, I wanted to stick to what the original vehicle looks like and obviously the front of the hood does not stick past about 75% of what the tire is so if I were to go a little bit further out, it wouldn't look like the vehicle that I'm trying to mimic. Um, these tires uh, are scaled to what the vehicle has, but I don't really like the front one. So I may take a little bit of liberty in the design and make this one about a quarter inch taller. Just uh, because when you go into the RC world I guess per se and because we're using this axle which was meant to be uh, all-wheel drive you do have this large piece that's gonna be dragging on the sand so if I can get an extra quarter inch on the tire without making it look funny I think it'll give us that little bit of extra clearance to kind of clear this now that it makes a huge difference because you know C-hubs are, are still dragging at the same depth but this is a bigger surface area so you know I may end up making the tire slightly bigger uh, the tires themselves I'm thinking about putting those files for those tires on Thingiverse so that anybody that purchases this the vehicle itself the, the chassis and body will be able to print the tires themselves instead of actually purchasing the tires because these tires if anybody is um, has any experience with shapeways tires uh, well tires and wheels whatever something this size with this much volume costs a lot of money to print with them so just these two tires uh, I priced it to see how much it will cost to print and it's seventy five dollars just to print these two tires which is ridiculous so that's why I'm gonna put those files out uh, so that you guys can print them themselves uh, yourself um, this chassis right here, I didn't make it with the resin printer because uh, I needed it to be stronger uh, structurally. And if I printed it in two pieces like I would have had to do and then glued it with the resin, it might not have come out as strong as I wanted it. But again, this is going to be on the design and shape ways. Um, rear shocks, they maintain the uh, stock length. Front shocks... Um, Anybody that's uh, familiar with the Jalande, they know you know that they have kind of tiny little spacers right here where these links attach to the chassis. They're little tiny little two millimeter spacers. You will use those two spacers from one side and you're going to put them inside of the shock in the front uh, in between the shaft and the piston so that it actually shrinks the shock. It doesn't let it expand all the way. So that's going to give you a shorter shock, a shorter travel. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, that's the shaft in there. No, actually the shaft is over there. Where's the light? Uh, well, let's go to the other side. There's no servo on that side. 
Okay, so there's the shock. See how the shaft compresses in there? It's got a much shorter travel, but that's what you need for the front because I don't know if you saw the other video what I was talking about. Um, you don't want a lot of articulation on this type of vehicle. You know, you're running in sand or uh, mud. It should be kind of flat, you know, because it's supposed to be a track for, for them to race. So you don't want a lot of suspension travel. The rear does have a little bit more suspension travel. Um, as you can see, the tires do not touch the body when you're going straight. If you go sideways, it will put some resistance on the tire that you're kind of leaning towards. So it'll slow you down and it's not gonna make you, um, it won't allow you to really lose that much control. So going straight, which is really what you wanna do, it's gonna stop right there. And the way that I achieve that is I have the body itself kinda, you can't see it there, it's in the back. It sits on the links. Where can I show you this? Okay, there. See? So the body itself is working as a limiter for the, um, for the shocks uh, in the back. The reason I did that, instead of just shortening the travel for the shocks, is because I wanted these to be a little softer. That way you do have some give on the body. If you make it too stiff, it's going to bring the front of the car up. Um, and then that's going to be an issue because you're not going to have steering. So having a little bit of give there is going to allow you to continue to keep the front tires on the sand or mud and uh, get a little bit more control. Um, you do have a chair in there, which you can't really tell, but it's in there. It's right there, the race chair. <laughs> um, you have four mounting points on each side. Uh, these two are what you would normally think of as the uh, skid plate mounting spots. And then you have two more, one in the front and one in the back right there. You can see right there. And those are to support the, the body, okay? Nothing all the way up in the front, nothing all the way up in the back. It's just supported with these four spots here. Um, I did these real close to this spot because I needed that rigidity from the body to add to the rigidity of the chassis part on the bottom because it is open. This whole area is open so that you could put whatever you want in there and still keep it looking like, you know, like a scale vehicle. So it'll look cool. So this kind of like think of this as the dry shaft tunnel. <laughs> it's kind of big, but you know what I mean. And uh, you'll have your you know, whatever driver here, and then you can put your electronics on the other side or whatever, just figure it out. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it on that. Uh, scale, what do I have around here? Uh, SCX24. Uh, that's not, really, not a good way to show it. All right, so that's the back. It's about, I want to say about 40 millimeters longer and then the width if you set this up here got about 15 millimeters width longer on the width uh, one thing right there if you put both bodies next to each other they're about the same height and this is a full vehicle. This is just a shell of the SCX24. This is a 118 scale. That's a 124 scale. So this vehicle is really low to the ground. It's extremely low to the ground. And that's without compressing it. So it's gonna be really, really, really easy to control once you get some speed out of it. Um, I do have to put the electronics in there. Uh, I do have to find a good spot with some mud. Uh, I'll do a couple runs in the sand first because it's easier to clean off the sand but then I'll try to get some mud and uh, hopefully hopefully it'll do good I mean mud is really sticky so I hope that the paddle design works out well on that and I mean we'll see how it turns out but anyway thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll try to get this done quick